Here's 10 tips on how to improve your piano skills. Number one is hand position and wrist position. So you don't want your wrist too low. You don't want your wrist too high. You want it even with your torso. So it's level. This way you can play faster and more accurate. If your wrist was too low, you might also get injured over time. Same thing if your wrist was up. Plus you can't see your fingers or the notes you're playing if your wrist is too high. Number two is to practice your scales. Not only will you improve your finger dexterity, but you'll get to know all the notes and all the keys um, and keyboard geography over the whole keyboard. Number three is knowing all your major, minor, diminished, augmented, seventh chords, all those types of different chords and how they function. So for example, in C major, I know the one chord is C major. Then I know a simple chord progression. I can go to the sixth chord, which is A minor. Then I can go to the four chord, F major, the five chord, G major, maybe a five, seven, and then back to the one. And I could do that in any key because I practice my chords. Number four is note reading. If you don't know how to read notes, I have a whole video on how to read treble clef, and I'm gonna make a video on how to read bass clef, so check those out. Number five is practicing your arpeggios, so you can do stuff like this. And you can do that in every single key and practice those until you can get them fast. Number six is chord inversion. So rather than play C major in the root position all the time, I could play it in first position or second position. If you don't know what chord inversions are or how to make them, I have a whole video. Check the description for that video. Number seven is using the pedal at the right time. So you don't want to use the pedal on every note, otherwise the notes will bleed together. Unless the song calls for something like that, you really want to practice your pedal technique so you don't have to use the pedal all the time. Number eight is using the proper fingers. So let's say you want to play a C scale. You're not going to use just one finger. Then you can play as fast as you can with all your fingers. Plus, you want to have the proper fingering, crossing under with one, and over with three at the bottom. But that's just an example of the C major scale. Um, you can apply this to when you play actual music. You might want to change the fingers so you can play the most accurately as possible. Plus, when you practice with the same fingers for a song, you start memorizing it easier than if you change the fingers every single time. Number nine is something called chunking when you're practicing. So rather than looking at each note in the song individually, you're looking at what chords they make and looking at them in, in literal chunks. So maybe there is a line, a melody in the song that goes C, E, G, E, D, C. All those notes, if I put them all together, that's a C9 chord. So rather than looking at the music and saying, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six different notes, I just think, oh, it's a C9 chord. And because I've practiced my chords, I know what the notes in a C9 chord are, so it's easier for me to play and to memorize. And the last one, number 10, is practice as many different genres as you can. So you can play in a jazz style, or a blues style, or maybe you want to do rock and roll. Maybe you want to do a country style. If you practice all 10 of these tips, you'll improve your piano playing skills and technique. And most importantly, it'll be more fun for you to play the piano and different music. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.